What's up fish friends? Welcome back to Casual Reef Keeping. I just wanted to make a quick video this evening because I've seen a ton of posts about Apexes getting bricked by a firmware update. I've helped a lot of people with this issue in the past. Luckily it hasn't happened to me personally, but I've done this for other people, so I'm going to make a quick demonstration on my own. That for some reason the firmware update causes the SD card to fail and that's what's bricking the Apex. And a lot of people, you know, you send it back to Neptune, you're waiting or you're getting a, uh, an exchange. And while Neptune will handle it, it is an easy fix if you want to do it on your own. Um, I guess this is my disclaimer that I don't work for Neptune, I get nothing out of Neptune, and I'm not liable if you screw this up. But if this is a last ditch effort for you where you're, you need your Apex, like myself included, I've come to rely on it and you want to fix it yourself, here's how it's done. It's quite easy. You've got two screws on the back, and this is the same for the EL, the full Apex A2, and both versions of the A3. I guess it's the A3 and the Pro. I don't know about the Junior. I've never had one of those open. I would think it's got that same board in common, but of that I do not know. So you get your two Phillips screws, and you're just kind of pop it apart here. The only thing kind of keeping it together is that face plate at the bottom. Just one thing to keep in mind once you do, once I get this thing open, there it goes, is to watch out on the side with the Neptune logo. There is a cable connecting it. So you can pull that out. Back the board up and see there's that cable. Pop that cable off so we can move that out of the way. And here is your Apex. That SD card is down here on the lower board, so you can separate this connector here. And there's your SD card slot. So if you need to, you can move, that's the Wi-Fi module. You can pop that out of the way. Slide out the SD card if it wants to cooperate with me. I think there's a locking tab there. So this looks like, once I actually get it out for you guys, of course, got no nails. Of course it wants to be difficult. Anyway, you get the idea though, I'm not gonna fiddle around with a functioning Apex too hard. There's your SD card. You'll just swap that out. It's an eight gigabyte, I believe, because it doesn't need a ton of memory anyway, so you can get whatever cheap one you can find or have laying around. Just make sure it's blank. Put your Wi-Fi module back in there. Line these connectors back up. If you do have the Pro, you will have an additional board since I do not, I don't have that additional board. That's what this non-soldered connection area is here. You'll reassemble. Make sure you plug this connector back in, in the same orientation, which was the locking tabs down or towards the board. Line up your ports back up. And just, as I get too close to the camera, so you can see here, everything's lined back up. Pop the other half of the cover back on. And put your two screws back on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, if your Apex is under warranty, uh, I mean, I think they've been fixing most of these for free anyway, but um, I know under warranty it is free if you can wait, but I believe it is now law that they cannot penalize you if you try to fix the device yourself, to an extent anyway, like as long as you don't break it. But I don't quote me on that one. Not a lawyer. Don't work for Neptune. Just trying to help out fellow reefers and save their tanks because, well, you know, it sucks that this is happening. It is at least 
a quick and easy fix. I just wish they would be transparent about it. But now it's back together, and I'm going to go plug this back into my tank.